Okay, this is a technical video, a detail video, to show you a little bit about the technical side of the uh, Glide and Go single fold uh, slimline with the ultra slim seat uh, shown for use in an extended cab suicide door Nissan Titan with the Easy Stow PIT, also from Access Unlimited, used to lift the wheelchair and stow it in the rear of the vehicle. So it's kind of a unique combination that gives you uh, pretty much everything you need for mobility, getting in and out of the vehicle. Um, but uh, we wanted to show you, just to do a special video, kind of just to show you the technical aspect of the of the product and, you know, what are some of the advantages. So uh, first thing I'm going to do here is introduce you to the Glide and Go, but I'm going to show you a little bit of the mounting system, how it mounts, and why that's important for your particular needs. So if you come on over here with the video, we're going to show you, okay, you got the safety handle right here, right? And that uh, that's what keeps you from uh, moving around too much. So um, that gives you something to lean on. It has two positions. One is uh, where you're using it. The other one is uh, locked in here so that it goes, uh, you know, back in this area and uh, keeps away from your body. Um, the... Um, these actually are going right into the OEM mount, uh, mounting hole locations here, front and rear. And on this particular one, there's also a special panel that Access Unlimited provides uh, to give you a nice finished look in this area, um, you know, down below on the bottom of the seat. Um, so we'll uh, kind of show you right over here. You can see the back. That's where it mounts into the right rear seat bolt hole location. Again, it goes underneath. There's no drilling of holes in this vehicle. So you got three mounts here. It sort of triangulates. Now, the really cool thing, mounting system over here, is uh, how we mounted this particular version of the Easy Stow. So we'll run this out so you can get really a good view how the unit operates. Runs along a gear mechanism there. Now, right here, you'll see you've got a release, and you've also got some electrical connectors here. So the great part of this system is that it can be released and uh, removed. So if you ever wanted to have your full seating capacity of the vehicle and you have somebody else in the vehicle to throw your wheelchair into the back or something like that, that gives you the option of having these seats flip down normally. You have a normal seating capacity vehicle or if you've got a lot of stuff you want to put in the back and you don't want to have this mechanism in the way. There's a release up there, which you, you, you uh, undo that screw, pull out the pull pin, and you end up with... Uh, this whole unit will collapse down, then the other part of the unit rises up, and you can take everything out of there. The only thing left you have is the trolley, we call it, uh, which goes back and forth. Now, in the back here, uh, there's a manual backup a crank so that you could actually crank the unit to uh, move it back and forth. If ever there should be an electrical failure, your battery dies. And right here, you've got a release also that goes on the same crank handle that you can just release that. And that actually disengages the motor so that the unit can slide back and forth uh, freely. Looking at the mounting system, again, same as for the Glide and Go, we have not modified anything whatsoever on the vehicle itself. So literally, we are going into factory bolt hole locations for the back seat. So we are modifying nothing. All three of the supports, all three of those supports are going into the OEM seat hole bolt hole locations. And even as the unit wears, we've kind of done some improvements here over time where we can actually crank these down. So if things wear out a little bit in the trolley, you can actually adjust the, uh, the tension on the on the trolley uh, in three different locations so that if um, you know things get worn out over time but you can compensate for that hopefully without buying a new unit uh, eventually you probably will require some service now the same thing applies to the glide and go itself you can see right here if you look in this area there is a hole for the backup system okay and that allows you uh, Obviously, with some assistance, it allows you to um, 
to uh, run the glide and go up and down if there should be a problem where your battery dies in your vehicle. It's always important to have a, a backup system, you know, for everything that you do. So um, uh, we're going to take you around the other side here just so you can get a different view of the unit. So I'm going to run it in and out for you. And up and down. And if you notice uh, where the unit goes, we try to make it a little high so that you still have uh, a good part of your uh, vision through the rear mirror there. So we tried to think of everything and tried to make everything as unobtrusive as possible. Um, <clears throat> uh, but anyway, we hope you like what you've seen. Thank you for taking the time to uh, watch the video. And again, this is a detail video, so it's not meant to be seen by itself. It's meant to be seen with other videos that you'll find in the notes field down below of this YouTube video. Our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash accessun. Um, you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash accessun. We're on Twitter uh, you, at, at accessun. Uh, we're on Instagram as Access Unlimited, Pinterest, Access Unlimited, two words. And again, 615-873-0518, uh, evenings and weekends, and uh, daytimes, 607-669-4822, country code 1, Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about this product, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day.